And so our segment, let's talk about the charts beginning from major pairs. So here's Euro dollar. Here's our close look, uh, 104.60. If we look at the hourly chart, we see lots of movements. But if we, well, let's zoom out just a bit where we can see that in the past few days, we didn't have too much. I still see the 104.60 level as um, some kind of resistance, even though uh, the pair went just above it. So slight dollar weakness this morning, but it doesn't last too long. All in all, you can see uh, Euro dollar is up three pips on the day. Uh, further resistance 105.20 and then followed by 106.60. On the downside, I think we can uh, talk about this level 103.50. It was the lowest in 14 years seen last week. Uh, an extension of previous falls ignited. The last move was by the Fed. Below 103.60, we're already back at levels last seen in 2002. That is 101.50. And then we can talk about euro dollar parity okay so these are the levels 105 20 104 60 103 60 uh, sorry 50 and then um levels last seen 14 15 years ago pound dollar uh did fall just before uh christmas so it, it did hold up quite nicely to the 10 uh, 123 line but then we fell under this line and the pair is unable to recover so cable now sees resistance at 10 123 uh, as round level, uh, further above 123.80 and 125.40. But if we look to the downside, and there are reasons for the pound to fall, we'll talk about that in the um, in the 2017 preview. That's 121.70 and 121 to the downside for cable. Let's move to dollar yen. Currently 127.50. Also here you can see trading has slowed down. So the round 118 line is uh, resistance, followed by uh, 118.80 uh, further above, and then of course the round level of 120. Looking down, we still have the 116 level. It used to be a line in the sand for the Bank of Japan. Worked as a resistance in mid-December, further below 114.70. Okay, let's move to commodity currencies in our review here. So we're seeing the Canadian dollar. We can currently 135.70, uh, very getting close to resistance there at 135.90. Further resistance is at a line seen back in uh, November. That's, um, oh, sorry, that's 135.90. Uh, support here at 135.60, very close by. The pair in general is moving higher, lower oil prices and the strength of the US dollar. Looking uh, down 134.70, 133.80. And further below 131, the pair made a long ride. Well, it's thanks to the Federal Reserve mostly. Also, oil prices have gone up, but not too far. Moving to the Australian dollar, also here we had a fall. The uh, commodity currencies in general, they fell as a late reaction to uh, the Fed, con contrary to the euro and the yen, which were the first to react. So we have this line of support here, Aussie dollar 71.75 further below 71.40. Looking up, we have 72.50 and 73.10. These are the lines for Aussie dollar. Kiwi dollar under the 70 level, currently 69.25. Um, to the top side, we do have just before the 70 line, I would mention 69.70, further above 71 and 71.40, support at 68.80 and at 68.80. 20. Okay, so these are the lines. Uh, last but not least, let's mention dollar Swiss. I don't really like the Swiss franc due to the intervention, ongoing intervention by the Swiss National Bank. But anyway, currently 102.76, further above 103.30 and 104 to the downside. Uh, this is a bit out of date, but this is a better line. 102.20 and 102, further uh, below 101.50. Okay, so these are the lines for the major pairs for the last week of 2016.